What is going on everyone? My name is Sharpie Ren and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be going over three tricks or tips on Ascent, the newest map in Valorant that you can use with Omen. They are three easy strats that you can implement into your game to throw your enemy team off. So let's get into it. So first we're going to be starting on the attacking side. So go ahead and just buy whatever you want. I have let's see here. Oh, I don't even have all the cheats turned on. Okay, now that I have all the cheats turned on, go ahead and buy whatever you want. And let's go on to the first spot. So you're going to be coming over here to uh, on the A side, going up mid. So normally there's a wall right here, blocking you from in the beginning of the round, obviously. And what you're going to do is that you're going to go ahead and line yourself up here. And you're going to go pull out your smokes. And this is an easy smoke to mess up, but it is also... Um, uh, very rewarding. So your goal is to get this blue arrow. Do you see that blue arrow right under distance to get it right on top of where my crosshair is now? So you see that corner of the box, that right corner of the box, you want to get it to as close as possible to that right corner of the box. And if you end up doing it correctly, um, you end up getting a smoke that looks like this. And the reason why the smoke is so good, actually, I messed it up a little bit. It's actually really hard. Um, is that if anyone's trying to peek out here, they have to really hug this wall. Or if they aren't hugging the wall, they get blinded. And also, hold on, let me just set this up again. Alright, now that I have it set up again, uh, sometimes it could fall like this, and sometimes the strat doesn't work as well. So you want to make sure you always have the arrow above and your crosshair above the box. This is one easy mistake that could happen. So let's go ahead and reset it. There you go, that one should work. There you go, this is actually a really good smoke. Because they can't peek out of this corner, holding the corner, and also, is that it, it obstructs the view onto this part of mid, so they kinda have to, anyone pushing this side is going to have to crouch and your teammates can obviously take advantage of that. So we're gonna go ahead and reset this so you guys can see it in action. It's actually a two-part smoke, so after that, you're going to end up be smoking mid. Normally, wait a second, but I'm just rushing right now. You're going to teleport onto this box, and you're going to jump on top of mid. Funny enough, that most people don't know you can actually jump on top of this, so I actually catch a lot of people off guard. Uh, there's usually someone hanging out here, 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 or in here, and you can just pick them off. And the best thing is, is that if you do end up running into a bad encounter, you just fall off here. But if it ends up working out, um, and you take over mid right here, and your team wants to push A, you can just go ahead and jump back. I mean, I messed it up, but normally you can jump back into that, which is really awesome. And it's a good way of just catching your opponents off guard. So here's a clip of that actually working. I mean, okay. If I can set it up in time. Oh crap, I had it perfect, and I messed it up. Cover going out. I'm going to A. I killed two mid. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention while I was uh, explaining this box jump onto mid. Funny thing is that if you ever end up if if you ever feel really ballsy you can actually teleport up here and get a nice little head glitch on mid or if you really wanted to <laughs> i don't know why you would ever do this but it works sometimes you could just teleport up here and just perch yourself up here and just kill everyone it's so funny whenever so most they expect you to come up here like they expect you to jump from this box and then come up here but it's funny whenever i just pull this out sometimes and no it's a really stupid idea but it's funny to get some frags and you just teleport up there and if you ever need a fallback you can just come back here crouch and just try again so since we're on the topic of a bomb site still i'm going to show you a really good trick to defend a long so mainly there's like two people here two or three people here uh it it's, it all depends on how your layout is but usually I like to rock two people here. 
and all you have to do is that there's gonna be a wall right here you're just gonna line up with this wall enough so you can only see this log and you're gonna pull out your teleport in the beginning of the round right when you can you just teleport right here and what's gonna happen is that this is a really interesting part of the map this is like a small cubby and it's just another angle for you to check so omens means can take uh, full advantage of these little cubbies and throw their opponents off so normally they're gonna be rushing all throughout here and your other teammate is literally I use I usually like a Phoenix here the reason why is because if they're if we hear them rushing all he has to do is flash out and they're all blind and if we coordinate that we can just kill them both together so all you have to do is just wait here uh, I would suggest if you're going to hold out your gun, I would be looking this way a little bit because they can see your gun poke out sometimes. But here's a clip of this working in action. No, I'm there. I'll take B. Yeah, yeah, set up, set up. I'm going to I'm going to do my trick again cuz they didn't I don't think they're going to check it this time. Cuz I haven't been there in a while. So Stay stay here, stay here. Yeah, stay. Here. Boy, <laughs> oh, I jiggle peeked. I have a trap there. Jacob Flash, Jacob Flash. Never mind. I've, I've got. She broke the toxins. Sixty-five on. Oh, dude, yeah. you're matching. They destroyed my top one. Oh, Alright, right. thank you, Jacob. Alright, so for the last little trick for this video, uh, you're going to be defending on B site. So, this is really good if, uh, like, using all these tricks is really good to throw off your opponent because one time you can be in that little cubby of A, you can use it for a round and then come to B for a couple rounds and use this and go back to A. And um, most people, like after checking it again, uh, after checking those spots again, they kind of just forget it. They're like, oh, he's not going to use that again, right? So uh, it's all about playing mind games with your opponent. But basically, you're going to be on B side. There's usually a wall right here. So I'd like to just line myself up here. And I'm going to set up the smoke. So if you see on this right side that I'm setting up the smoke where it has a little bit of a gap so where I can see. So right at the beginning of the round, what you're going to do is you're going to place that smoke, wait for it to come out, and you're going to pull out your teleport. And on the map, as you see, if I'm holding it here, you can see it on the mini map on the top left, that you can see they actually updated it so you can see where you're going to be teleporting. And your goal is just to teleport all the way back into this corner. So let's go ahead and set this up again. So this is really good for you if you know, uh, like this is really good for like a pistol round or like an eco round with an SMG if you really want to. Like if you somehow have enough more money than your teammates, but you really want to uh, like frag out for them and they can get guns. So we're going to go here, place the smoke, wait for it, teleport into this corner. And most people never expect this. Normally you would want this to be a little closer to the wall. But teleporting into this corner gives you free line of sight of anyone here. And everyone's going to be looking this way. Every single time I've done this, everyone's looking here. Or walking into the smoke if they're feeling like stewy. But if you're here, you just get free kills. No one's looking at you. There have been times where I just sat in this corner and let them all walk past. And all of a sudden my smoke disappears and that, then I have to kill them. Because right once the smoke disappears, they try to funnel into that corner. But here, one more time, I don't have a cl real clip of this in action, just because I forgot to record it, but uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could send me your guys' clips of this working. So we're going to go ahead and do this, wait for it, teleport into the corner, or teleport into the smoke, and you're in the corner now. And you just peek out, boom, boom, boom. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am not the best Omen main. I've seen so many other YouTubers and players that are way better than me but i like finding these little tricks to just give other omen mains other options in their bag of tricks and that's pretty much all omen mains do they really throw their opponent off guard you just play mind tricks and that's how you get your frags and if you're a good omen main obviously you could be very successful but some people say that he's very predictable but 
if you keep coming up with new strats like this on, on new maps and stuff like that, then he's not very predictable. You're going to leave your opponents guessing. So that's the reason why I would like to share these tricks with you guys. For any new players that didn't get to play the beta, this is the perfect way to start because this is the newest map, so everyone's on the level playing field. So if you use these tricks to your games, I assure you that you will end up catching some people off guard and getting some easy frags. So this is the end of the video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys liked the content, please subscribe or give it a vote on Reddit. If you guys want to see me live, my my Twitch handle is twitch.tv slash sharpyren. You guys can also see the watermark down on, down on the bottom left. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.